Hey guys, and welcome back to another FPV Guy video. I'm Bo Lorenzen, the FPV Guy, and as you know, I've been cruising around CES 2017 looking for the cool stuff. And one of the places I really wanted to get into is Wingsland, because you know, I was here last year, I was looking at the M5, and they're bigger designs. But this year, unfortunately, I never got to fly an M5, and that's because they started focusing on cooler stuff. Because the mass market in drones are really going for the smaller drones now. And you guys came out with, what is this, the S6? Yeah, this is the Wingsland S6. This is the world's smallest 4K pocket drone. It's smaller, it's, it's much smaller than the Mavic, but it basically has all the same features as the Mavic. And on top of that, it even has a modular 8-pin connector, so you can put little accessories like a LED flashlight, a uh, airsoft cannon, even a, um, a message board that streams across messages. And then we're even working on, in April, uh, re uh, releasing a remote control that will allow you to control the, the S6 with a smartphone attached to the bottom, just like the Mavic, and gives you that tactile feel because sometimes it's hard to control with the virtual joysticks. So this whole package together is less than half the price of a Mavic at under $500. So, so the aircraft, with the stick controller, you're looking at about $500. Yeah, because this is this is 400 bucks. This will be probably like 100 bucks when we go to market. We're still figuring it out. But with that whole thing in, in, together, you basically have all the same sensors as the Mavic, even the same camera sensors as the Mavic. Um, just and this down. is basically a 4K sensor, but it's digitally stabilized. So you can get Correct. stabilized 1080p. Correct. So because of its size, it's, uh, we're not to that point yet where we can stabilize uh, the, like a, a mechanical gimbal, but the digital stabilization offers a, a decent amount of stabilization for what it is. Well, well this is really, uh, I've been flying the Adobe Pocket Drone, of course, mm -hmm. and you know you've seen some of my videos, yep. and what I really love about it is I can pick it up, like a place like here, and I just want to get a high shot, turn it on with my phone, I get it up there, 30 seconds later, I'm done. Yep. I'm not looking at doing a five mile shot with it. Yep. And what's better about the Adobe than that, uh, what's better about our product than the Adobe is Adobe doesn't have the remote. And a lot of people are coming back to us saying, wow, you've got this Mavic style remote. That's a huge thing because a lot of people have a hard time well, trying this, to use it. I wouldn't call it Mavic style remote, I would call it Wingsland style remote. Yes, absolutely. Wingsland style remote. But everyone knows that the, that, that product is the hottest product right now. And that and, that, and this remote is very reminiscent of that style. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, but it's still, you guys have definitely a different style in it. Mm -hmm. You have made different choices how to mount the phone. It's actually yes. easier yeah, to mount the Yeah, the mount is easier. So that's another thing. We made this mount so much easier versus the other brand. Because the other brand, people have a hard time. This, you just slide it in and it's just as yeah, that. I, I was just doing that a second ago with my phone and it's really easy. It's super simple. Now, the other thing that I'm really fascinated with, all the accessories on top. Yes, so with having this modular uh, accessory part on there, there's 10 pins, or there's eight pins on there that allows you to put it. This is a 100 lumen flashlight. And then we have these other accessories. This is really popular. This is an airsoft cannon. Oh, put and that you, up so we can see yeah, it. So this I mean, I need one of those. Yeah, we were doing demos earlier where you're able to shoot down targets and get a free t-shirt. But these little, little airsoft pellets are actually pretty strong and um, they're really fun to play I with. I shouldn't look at the barrel. No, because it'll shoot I'll point your, it on that guy over you'll there. You'll shoot so. your eye out, but you have glasses <laughs> on, so you're okay. Um, you guys need to make me a, like a Nerf shooter. So it's soft. Yeah, but with little Nerf sticks. Oh yeah, that'd little be kind of cool. mini Nerf dart like shooter. A little turret gun. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Just, that'll be next. I'm imagining since you have the port, yep. you guys are thinking yep. of more cool drones. So, yes, the nice part about this is, you know, it's it's modular, so you can think of anything. Maybe eventually a uh, heat detection, like a flare sensor. Maybe um, we're working even on object detection. So not only does it does follow me, but eventually we'll have it with a object uh, detection sensor that allow to fly around objects. So, uh, so you guys are. This is what this sensor really is: is 360 degree object. Optical object detection. Yes, it has. Looks like it's got infrared on this one, and I'm not sure about this one. Like well, that's in the receiver. So what it is is infrared out and reflected information in mm -hmm. 360. So that means you can fly without running into the walls indoor. Yeah. So that's even more because most of them are just front. So that's and pretty. What, awesome. what do these accessories cost roughly? Oh, they're pretty inexpensive. So this, these are out now. You're looking at about probably between 30 and 50 bucks. 
you know, the last one is this one here. This is the message board one. It, it streams messages across. It's like an no emoji way. screen. Yeah. So you can put death from above or something and then go after them. The, the, the death from above is probably not a good thing since you're trying to not outlaw drones. Bring me to your leader. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> we'll get a whole bunch of them together and then take over the world. <laughs> something like that. I don't so there you have it, guys. And Brian, thank you so much. Yeah. And I forgot to introduce you in the beginning. You're Brian Cahoon. Yeah, I'm Brian Cahoon. I'm with, uh, with Wings of Technology. Uh, the, uh, Here in the United States. In the United States. Offices in well, Los Angeles. And uh, we have distribution right now on Amazon, uh, B&H Photo in, in New York. And our distributor is Drone Nerds in Miami. And you guys, I heard, have also have support operation here. Yes, I handle that too. It goes right to my phone, actually, if no the, one answers it. The reason I'm bringing this up is there's so much of the stuff we have seen walking around here this week that, oh, it can do all of this. Um, we have support operations from China. Just that's, send it back to us. We'll fix it free and, yeah. and you pay to send it back. That's why they hired me, because I did that at another company and I hated that. So I got a local 866 number in the United States, USA, and then also a support email. We're changing the website to make it more USA-centric. But having that local support, you can call up the number and get me on the phone. That Nothing better than that. And I'll help you guys out. You guys know if you fly drones, being able to talk to somebody that speaks English is a huge thing. Yes. So yes. there you have it. This is the S6 from Wingsland. It's shipping now at $399. Yep. And the handset controller is going to be out in a couple of months here for yep. about $100. And we are looking at about fifty dollars a pop for the cool accessories. Mm -hmm. Except I imagine the three sixty obstacle oh, yeah, that's is gonna, gonna be, be a bit more, more yeah. much more. Well uh -oh. I don't know. I'm I'm guessing probably because that's much more technology than that. So but so reasonable. we're gonna stay tuned. We once we get our hands on one of these, I'll have a full unbox and we'll do a video, go through all the detail through the manual and explain it. In the meantime, make sure you click down the corner here where it says subscribe. Subscribe for more videos from CES 2017. Mm -hmm.